Coming up on your Blazer Sports Report, we'll discuss the recent success of the golf and baseball teams. And then we catch up with Blazer Sports Reporter Olivia Rosner for an update on the cross country teams. Your Blazer Sports Report starts now. Welcome to the Blazer Sports Report. I'm Paul Rose. And I'm Bryant Rose. The VSU golf team finished in fourth place this Tuesday at St. Leo Invitational. This week, the team is gearing up for the Southeastern Collegiate at Kinderloo Forest right here in Valdosta. I had the opportunity to catch up with the team to learn more about their preparations for the upcoming tournament. Anderson played extremely well, gave us three under par rounds, finished second as an individual. Brock Healy, freshman, um, he had a top 10 finish. Uh, again, another solid performance. He would have been in contention right there with Matt Anderson if it wasn't for two quadruple bogeys that he made during the tournament. But he did a great job each time of bouncing back, making birdies to keep himself um, and the team you know, in, in contention. You know, slacking off. Even the guys that haven't made a tournament yet this year, I mean, they're still working their butt off, trying to get themselves into the field or into the top five. And so we're just, you know, in that aspect, we're just extremely lucky. We wish them the best of luck as they prepare to go up against some of the region's top contenders. For your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Paul Rose. The team is ready to fin finish higher in the standing at this tournament, so you don't want to miss it. The match will be held Sunday, March 10th through Tuesday, March 12th at the Kinderloo Forest Golf Club. Check the V-State Blazers athletic page for more details. The Blazers baseball team had a busy weekend as they had to play through rain and come up strong in a three-game series. Blazers sports reporter Alex Foster has the story. Thank you for the update, Alex. We can't wait to see more from our Blazer baseball team in the coming days and weeks. Since last November, VSU's men's and women's cross-country teams have prepared for the upcoming track season. Friday, March 1st, both teams will be traveling to the University of Tampa for the first meet of the spring. With the competition approaching fast, the runners have been spending much of their time at the track to prepare. Here's Blazer sports reporter and cross-country athlete Olivia Rosner with more on the team. VSU's cross-country team. 
teams have been pounding the pavement for over three months in preparation for their first track meet of the season. The teams have been focusing less on endurance and more on speed since the start of the semester. Todd Smoot, head coach of both cross-country teams, explains that the training for the runners varies on the different events that they participate in. We have some that are extending themselves into the 5,000 meter primarily distance, and we have some that are going in 800 and 1500, so they are considered different groups and they're trained differently. This race will be the first collegiate track meet for Gabe McNett, a VSU mass media student and freshman on the team. He, along with the rest of the team, sees the importance of the transition in their training. Despite the unavoidable nerves, McNett is ready to hit the track hard and is setting the standards high. I hope to either PR or like set my standards high for the Smoot also has high expectations for the runners, but is waiting to see the results until later in the spring. They haven't competed for quite a while, so these will not be the fastest times that they run all year. I'm sure there will be a few that will be like, well, I, I know I can run faster and they will when, it, when the time has come. With their spring training ultimately preparing them for next fall, the team is well on their way to a successful season. Reporting for the Blazer Sports Report, I'm Olivia Rosner. This will be the first collegiate track meet for 10 of the 14 runners. The runners will be ready to tow the line in Tampa after preparing throughout the fall and winter months. We wish our Blazers the best of luck this Friday as they face their competitors. Well, that's it for today's Blazer Sports Report. I'm Paul Rose. And I'm Bryant Roche. Stay tuned for more episodes of the Blazer Sports Report later this month. Go Blazers! Blazers.